Good morning, Marcus Conti reporting. How you doing? So I got a. There's a bunch of stories. I was kind of. I, I, I'm very rarely uh, stumped for a story, right? Like I think, I wake up with a with a fucking story in my head, right? It's just like, oh, and I gotta tell that story. But today was different. I don't know why. It was just. I think it's it's the Christmas thing going on, right? You know, we're all dealing with that shit, right? <clears throat> you know, you um. You pick your friends. But uh, you don't pick your family, right? It's just I'll I'll talk more about that in a second, but because that's really what I want to talk about: yellow vest family values, <clears throat> whatever that means. <clears throat> it's time to define it. Right? So, a couple of things going on in the news. The um, Post is reporting, the uh, New York Post, seventy-eight cases of potential voter fraud from two thousand sixteen. <laughs> They're digging up the graves now, right? Voter fraud, not election fraud. Voter fraud is when you break the law, when the citizen breaks the law, not when the establishment breaks the law. That's that's election fraud. That's when 200,000 votes get purged off the rolls. That's when um, polling places are closed. That's when the when the machines are rigged, or where one vote equals two for them and the other vote equals half for you and that sort of thing, all those calculations, right? You know, it also occurred to me, right, with the voting machines. We can get, we can't get a fair election in the country, right? We can't get a voting machine that's that's tamper proof and and proven like an ATM machine. But we could get, you know, we got people, we got a, a car driving around on fucking Mars, three three hundred million miles away, allegedly. Who even knows if it's up there? Right? Did we land on the moon? I don't know. But anyway, this this um this this is. What what's the big deal? Seventy eight cases. How many actual convictions? Four. So all of this hoopla, all of this 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 talk and prosecution up in New Hampshire to get four convictions for people who voted twice. Now I'm not saying that's a good thing. You're breaking the law, right? Don't do it. Right? But that's not the big problem. Four votes. <clears throat> Four proven double votes is not going to swing an election. What's going to swing an election is 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 the things that I just talked about: purging hundreds of thousands of votes off the rolls, taking two million votes in California and throwing throwing them in the garbage. Right? See that it's it's a diversion, right? This is just mainstream, you know, propaganda, right? Let's talk about it. We got nothing else to talk about, right? So. So that's a stupid story, right? Well, there's no there's no danger in people voting twice. The danger is in you getting cheated, right? And then now when there's a voter fraud case, now what they'll do is that's a way to make it even more difficult to vote. They'll they'll go in that direction to make it even more difficult to vote. Uh, what else? So Facebook, another another story. I I didn't have a particular story, so I'm just gonna throw these three together, and then I want to talk about. Yellow uh, vest family values. So Facebook, <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> Facebook allowed um, tech companies, Microsoft, Netflix, and Spotify to read personal messages on Facebook. What the fuck? <clears throat> uh, now that's too far, right? Now you could. Look, if you post your your picture, the picture of your cat, or your, a picture of you in a you know in a in a in a tutu or a bikini, right? And you put that shit out on Facebook, and someone grabs it, well, that's your fault. But in an in a private message, Facebook Messenger is 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 sur- is under surveillance from Microsoft, Netflix, and Spotify. <clears throat> that shit is crazy. Right. I mean, I don't, I don't even go near Facebook barely anymore, and that was one of the only features I actually use. Still, is because people reach out to me on Facebook. Uh, well, not anymore. I'm, I'm just. I mean, if you do, then I mean, now my my approach to Facebook Messenger would be, it's just you might as well just be having a conversation in the public, right? It's a public, public, you know, public conversation. Living in crazy times, man. That's that's some big brother shit right there. And the other one, here's here's a good one. So so they're trying the BBC got caught trying to tie the 
uh, yellow vest movement to Russia, right? Now we knew that they were going to do it, right? Because the default, the default, you know, enemy is Russia. Whenever you're caught, eh, just blame Russia, and, this, and then we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out later, right? So, the BBC actually got caught <clears throat> pushing their, the editors were pushing writers to go find some kind of connection to Russia. So RT reported it. I'll play his little clip and we'll check it out. Talk about. It. Meddlers is not abating. Leaked messages sent by a Leaked BBC message. correspondent suggest that the broadcaster's news team is in search of any leads connecting Moscow and the Yellow Vest movement in France. In one of her messages, the BBC correspondent said that her editors were, quote, out for blood. Well, maybe some Russian business is capitalizing greatly on the protests. Maybe the protesters are eating cutlass en masse. Maybe the far right are ringleaders there. I'm looking for angles, yes. The editors demand some blood. The leaked messages were published by Russia's Rear Novosti News Agency. Last week, a number of media outlets so, that Russian bots or automated... Yeah, and then they go on to talk about the Russian bots on, on Facebook. <clears throat> That's another story, right? It's all, it's all nonsense. But right there, the BBC gets caught. The editors get caught pressuring writers to go find something that connects the yellow vests to Russian interference. It's just, it's, it's so ridiculous and so understandable from their perspective because they're, they're, their donors are the banks, their donors are the big corporations, right? And the Yellow Vest activity is directed at the, at the large conglomerates, the big banks and the banking industry, right? So that's damage control. That's, that's the BBC now in the pocket of the corporations trying to spin it and and gaslight uh, uh, gaslight the, uh, the the world they're gaslighting us again I mean it's not surprising but that's it's just a funny catch yeah. so so it's Christmas right I, I just want to I want to get I want to take a step back I know that this is a uh, this is a, just definitely a trying time for for people right and uh, you know it's like <clears throat> Uh, you know, emotions are high, right? You're around family members and, and everybody is so divided and the least little political discussion could, could start fireworks and the, you know, in the, in the, in the Christmas, around the Christmas tree, you know, fuck yous can fly. And, and, um, I, I think it's, I think it's important. I mean, my, the book that I wrote, Wake Yourself Up, Right, is kind of about, um, kind of about piercing through that noise, and uh, you can read it. I'll leave, the link is always down below. Wake yourself up, spiritual enlightenment right here, right now, right? and um, you know. So I, I just wanted to say that that uh, we don't chew, we don't pick our family, but we do pick our friends, and um, and I know a lot of people are are unsubscribing to this because. To, to talk about the Holy Grail, Trump, to talk about the master idol, Trump, in a negative light is to be unpatriotic and not down with the plan. I understand. Unsubscribe, goodbye, right? Don't let the door hit you in the ass, right? That's on you, you know? If, you, if, you're, if you're just going to shut your mind down and shut your face up, <laughs> that's fine. Go. I'm, again, I, I'm... I'm about ten thousand Spartans, right? Spartan. This is Sparta, right? I don't I don't want a hundred thousand sleepers, you know, paying attention here and commenting, right? Again, we got rid of most of the cunt faces, right? Most of the most of the, the, the uh other YouTubers that were, were on the attack, we've gotten rid of most of their people, right? They'll come back, but you know, big boys play rough, but they'll come back. But but the I, the bottom line is right, I'm not ca I don't cater to any fucking Q people or any Trump, 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 or Bernie. No, that it's about the truth, right? Now, the the truth of the matter is that we have an administration that that has succumbed, has bowed to the masters, the corporate masters, the corporate donor donors. And if you if you fail to see that or fail to acknowledge it, and think that there's some master plan with thousands of Un unsealed with thousands of sealed 
indictments that's going to rain down on the enemy. Go ahead. Don't, again, don't let the door hit you in the ass, right? right? So, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but there's there's all, I mean, there's, there's so much, there's so much uh, mix-up. Uh, I mean, so much gaslighting going on in the media. And I try... I try my best as a uh, as a YouTube whatever I am opinionist to to um, to to shake people up to wake them up to see what's going on and again it's always from my opinion right I I'm only one person with an opinion but I've I've had many experiences that have led me to this uh, place so I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say but what I'm trying to say is is you know love each other. Right to the best of your ability. If you don't like the content here, you don't have to say goodbye. You don't have to announce it in your in your. I'm now leaving. <laughs> go ahead, go. You know the door. The door remains open. You're, you'll never be blocked here. Right? There's only I mean only a handful of people have ever been that I've had to block for physical threats and 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 just persistent spam. You know. They put the same thing over and over again. But for the most part, your opinions are welcome here. And um, that's all I got today. That's all I got for right now. Mark Sconti reporting.